What is up guys, this is Sesco from VideoGamesUnderground.com Today we have some awesome news for you guys. The gold crates are going to be getting refreshed this Sunday night. Uh, I know a lot of people are kind of caught off guard at how quick this turnaround is on the gold crates. But I have to tell you guys, after going through what is inside of these crates, I could not be more excited. Uh, what we are going to do now is basically run through the vehicles that are going to be in the crates. Uh, and it, I have to tell you guys, this is going to be the first time in a while that it's going to be all new vehicles. And when I say all new vehicles, I mean all new versions. Two of them will be uh, returning vehicles uh, that have been used in the game before. Two of them are going to be brand new vehicles that have never been used in the game. And then we will also be getting two gold vehicles, which look freaking awesome as well. And of course, you will have uh, some rims as well. No first place wheels. From It's our understanding that there will be no more first place wheels uh, in crates. Uh, but you never know. It remains to be seen. Fingers crossed, though, because... It would be nice to have some of these vehicles maintain some value. Uh, but without further ado, we're going to jump right in with our Citroen, and then we will go towards the two new vehicles. Uh, so God bless, guys. I hope you enjoy the video, and thank you, as always, to our VIP members and our subscribers. Here we have the Citroen DS3R-P. Uh, from what we've been able to figure out, the P stands for paintable. The R, I believe, means basically like a race version. Um, now, we have the normal version of this car, uh, but most of the time when they give it the R designation, it's a little bit faster than what the other one was. So let's look at the other one first real quick. This one was a 1639 with a weight of six, 2645. And this one's 1639 with a weight of 2666. Um, that's actually higher, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> so I have no idea why, but it's actually a little bit higher than the old version of the vehicle. Uh, but let's see what it does on the track. That was in no way the best race of all time. <laughs> Around about an 8, so probably, I'd say a 7, 8 with the tune that's in it right now. Um, nice car though, kind of cool to get. Uh, let's see what else uh, we picked up in this update. Alright guys, what we have here is the Ford GT LE, which is the GTR LE. Uh, this is basically an unwrapped version of the limited edition Ford GT. Now, the only thing that I don't understand about this vehicle, and it may change with parts that get installed later on, but this is actually the same weight as all the other Ford GTRs. The only ones that this does not match up with are the WWE ones, which are actually lighter than this one. So this will be a paintable GT, but without stripes, which, as many of y'all know, most of us hated the fact that you couldn't get the GT without stripes, but this actually makes all the GTs without stripes that are in the game that were bugged worthless. Um, so that kind of sucks, but oh well. Let's see what it does on the track. Actually sounded really nice. I don't know if y'all could hear that. I hope I hope the sound transfers uh, into the video. But that is the Ford GT R L E, and here is the Ford Torino Cobra R. It's an A class vehicle. Has an awesome stance to it. Has a kind of weird hood, but it still looks pretty badass. Uh, it's rear wheel drive. It has a massive weight of three thousand seven hundred and seventy four. Uh, 273 grip with a power of 427. All around, pretty awesome looking vehicle. I really, really like this car. Let's see what it does on the track.
sounded like there was some sound issues uh, with the car. <laughs> I'm not too sure what that was about, but this is what you can kind of expect from it with the 11 tune 9636. It was a horrible RT, uh, but all around a pretty easy car to race. I like this car. Moving on to the next one, though. All right, guys, this is the Ford GT race car. This is the actual um, vehicle that they've been using, I believe, in the Le Mans race. This is an R3 1652 with a weight of 2997. This is just an all around monster looking vehicle. This is a badass car. Look at this damn thing. <laughs> this is so cool. Like, I couldn't even begin to tell you enough how much I think this is cool. Rear wheel drive, a grip of 550, which is insane. <laughs> Let's see what this thing does on the track. that make up the gold uh, crate update um, what you are going to need is a shitload of gems uh, but this will be the first time in a long time where the crates actually house a bunch of new vehicles which is awesome um, <clears throat> for a while there we were getting like one new car with three returning cars uh, with the Torino with this GT with these two new unwrapped vehicles this is I mean pfft. This is this is awesome. Now, from what I understand, we will be getting two gold wrapped vehicles inside of these uh, these crates. Uh, we actually were able to locate uh, both of them. Um, the first one is, of course, going to be the uh, the Citroen. You're going to be able to get a gold version of it, and the other one is the Ford Torino. Type R, Ford Torino. Uh, you won't get the Ford GT race car uh, because it's already wrapped. We won't be able to, to get a gold version of it. And I don't know why they didn't do a Ford GTR in gold. We never had one, so I'm not a thousand percent sure. Um, hopefully, maybe we can get some answers. But if not, it's all good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look into the gold crates. Um, I, <laughs> this is, I'm really excited about these crates, so, uh, can't wait to crack some open and hopefully pull these vehicles, uh, but God bless, I'll talk to y'all soon, and y'all take care, man.